everybody. It's me, Father Pete McCormick, with my co-host, Lynette Wookie. Lynette, how's it going? It's great. The sun is shining. It's getting warmer. It's a great day. So we have a special edition of One Big Question. Uh, many of you know that the Grammys occurred this past weekend, and it got us thinking about the music that got us through uh, coronavirus up until this point. And so what we thought we might do is uh, just begin to unpack a few key categories. So specifically around artist, album, and song, we brought in a few friends to help us out. But before we get to them and before we get to the introductions, um, there's a few things. I want you all to know that this is a low budget Notre Dame Grammy edition. So unlike the beautiful um, awards that the artists receive, um, our, our great sponsors at Betco <laughs> Um, came forward and said that they would be willing to give us miniaturized versions of these very things. So grateful to Betco for their support of the One Big Question Grammys. Uh, and in addition, um, those of you who did watch the Grammys, you know that Beyonce won her 28th Grammy, uh, which set a record. So Lynette, this is my question for you. If you were advising Beyonce, or if you yourself, even better, had 28 Grammys, I'm interested to know, would you do one of two things. One, <laughs> okay. would you find one particular spot on your wall to hang all of them? Or would you melt them all down so as to create one massive Grammy? And I'm just kind of interested to know. Um, I just feel like melting a Grammy is very sacrilegious and you're just legally not allowed to do that. So I think I would just pick a spot in my house don't worry, when I win a bunch of awards, I'll send you pictures to so you can see exactly what I choose. Well, I can't wait. Well, <laughs> um, just wanted to know. So without further ado, it's time to bring on the true stars of the show, uh, our two guests for the day. So to begin first, we have Nat Marshall, who is a member of this Notre Dame community. She is a freshman this year. She is a member of the women's basketball team and hails uh, from New York City. Nat, welcome. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah. You're most welcome. And of course, we also have uh, one of the most esteemed professors on the Notre Dame faculty, Professor Megan Sullivan. Professor Sullivan is known for a variety of things. She is the director of the Notre Dame Institute for Advanced Study, uh, but many of you will know her as the professor of God and the good life. So Megan, welcome to One Big Question. Thanks, guys. I'm excited to be here. Love the flag. It's awesome. Don't you? Yeah, it really makes this table. Also, by the way, I would melt down the Grammys and then make Beyonce's costume from single ladies out of the Grammys. Oh, that's that would I make a that. statement about what it is to be the Queen Bee. I love it. So Those to jump right are, into here we are ahead. one big question, Grammy edition. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, a variety of different tunes that many of you would have pulled from over the course of uh, this past year that may have just helped you get through when we realize how important music is. And so, Lynette, maybe I'll kick it over to you and you can guide us through uh, some of the kind of key categories. Yeah, absolutely. So as Father Pete said, one big question, what music got you through the pandemic? I just want to preface this in saying it doesn't have to be songs from 2020, 2021. It can be songs that just get you through all, all the time. So our first category is best artist. So I'll throw it to you, Nat. Which artist got you through? You know, I think there were a lot of artists that got me through um, hip hop, rap, uh, country pop. But I think I'm going to have to go with Brent Fayez. I really like him. I love his vibe. Um, you know, he has a lot of, you know, great hits. So I think I'm going to have to go with Brent Fayez. Okay. I don't personally listen to him, but now I'm going to. And this is also a great way to get uh, song suggestions. We picked oh, yeah. with the best music taste on campus. Don't you totally. Worry? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Sullivan, what about you? Best artist. I, I'm embarrassed to say during the pandemic, I watch like four hours of YouTube every day. I don't know what my problem is, but there's, this, cu there's this couple on YouTube called Pomplamoose. It's a husband and wife team and they film a video, a music video every week of them covering some famous song. And they're hilarious. As soon as like the face mask became a thing in May, they just started recording themselves rocking out with face masks in their house. The wow. song I'd recommend if you want to get hooked on the Pomplamous YouTube channel, they have a cover of Earth, Wind and Fire's September that has this like puppet that's connected to the drum and she's eating cereal during the session. It's just like, that's a lot. Very fun lot. and lighthearted. Uh, <laughs> and they put out a new one every week. Um, and I've just been like nonstop Pomplamoos for the last year. I love it. That's awesome. All right, Father Pete, what about you? 
So for me, I went with a, a tried and true friend. Um, Eric Church is, is my guy. Uh, you may have seen him. Uh, he performed uh, the national anthem for the Super Bowl. Um, but uh, I just he, he's someone I've been listening to for a long time. And, and one of these days, I would like to meet him. And my goal, if that were to occur, is to somehow speak with some degree of eloquence, because I would probably lose my mind. <laughs> I cannot imagine Father Pete getting starstruck, but I'd love to see it. And <laughs> <laughs> for me, I would say my best artist, I mean, she also won a Grammy, Taylor Swift. Um, I, I've i always been a longtime fan of Taylor Swift. She was my number one most listened artist. Three of her songs were in my top five most listened to on Spotify. I used to be really embarrassed of that, but I will be no more. I'm a proud Swifty. I love her music. And I think the fact that she came out with two full albums in one year is just amazing. So that's me personally. And moving on, speaking of albums, let's talk about the best albums. So Nat, throwing it back to you. What was your album that got you through? Um, I'm going to go with Graduation by Kanye West. Oh, so that my, is such a good one. It's cool. One of my favorite albums of all time. Love, love, love that album. Um, I was graduating high school during quarantine, so kind of a little bit of a connection there. So yeah, I'm going to go with Graduation by Kanye. I love it. That's perfect. I love that album and it's always on. So I think the people who live so there good. have to love it by now too. So, uh, what about you, Professor Sullivan? I think like we all want our like musical comfort foods during times of crisis and my all-time favorite album is Arcade Fire The Suburbs. I was listening to that when I was finishing grad school and Nat you were probably in like middle school. <laughs> um, probably. <laughs> but I listened to that non-stop my last year of grad school and I've totally come back to it this year. It's just it's a beautiful album it's kind of sad um, but I could listen to it over and over again. There's not a bad song on the whole thing. Wow yeah I love it. Father Pete, what about you? Okay, so like Professor Sullivan and Nat, I'm going with a little bit of an old school. Matchbox 20, yourself or someone like you. Um, one of my favorite albums of all time. I looked it up before this. It has sold to date just about 15 million albums. I'm telling you, it's a classic. 3 a.m. Uh, is one of the best jams on that entire track, but the whole thing is awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, Matchbox 20, yourself or someone like you. I'll kick it over to you, Lynette. Yeah, I mean, I would say my album of the year was uh, Purgatory by Tyler Childers. Um, so he's kind of like a country folkish singer. And like you said, uh, Professor Sullivan, it just feels like comfort food to me. And I mean, country music just feels like comfort food to me because I'm uh, from Ohio and we like to believe that we're country. So I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so finally... What is the best song that got you through? Matt? This is a hard one. I so, know. So I'm like many. trying to think of one still, I think. There's so many. Um, I think I'm going to do Pink and White by Frank Ocean. It's really good. It's from his 2018 album, Blonde. Um, super chill. Just kind of, you know, great vibe. Love that song. So, wow, Love that. Professor Sullivan? I'm gonna feel super lame going after Frank Ocean. Uh, so I know she's like, like she's like, oh, I like all these cool indie artists. And I'm like, <laughs> Taylor Swift. Oh, this is something really <laughs> new, but it's true. I'm gonna be honest with you, Lynette, because okay. you deserve honesty. So I play I play like a pump up song in my car every day when I park in the Hesburgh Library and I'm getting ready to come to class or come up to IAS. And the one I've been playing the last two months is Aria Speedwagon's Roll with the Changes. I don't know if right. you know this song. <laughs> it does, it rocks. It's so embarrassing. But I blast it in my car as I put my face mask on and get ready to come in. And face the day. I love that. See, all of yours is like really happy and upbeat. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Father Pete, what about you? Okay, so listen. Um one of my favorite songs of all time. And in fact, I would argue one of my island songs, meaning if I were stuck on a deserted island, what would I try to bring with me? Um, Otis Redding, sitting on the dock of the bay. To me, it's like the definition of calm and cool all at the same time. So Otis Redding's my guy, sitting on the dock of the bay. That's my song. I love that. Yeah, I think uh, this is so hard. I've like gone back and forth even when you guys are talking, but... I think Casey Musgrave's Rainbow. Um, I, I like that song. I feel like it's like upbeat and it really kind of 
envelopes the entire idea of the year and just you know there's always been a rainbow above your head even if you can't see it so kind of cheesy but i love casey musgraves and i think she's awesome but thank you all for being on the show and giving us a lot of good music nat I think you won for best music taste, but it's okay. We are not ashamed. We're not ashamed of our comfort music. Thanks to our sponsor, Betco. Um, we'll be sending our participants some hand sanitizer because those are much more useful than a piece of gold. Like, what, is, what do you need that for? But thank you all for watching. Um, thank you guys for being here. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Notre Dame. Send us your questions. We want to hear what you want to talk about here on One Big Question. Have a great day and go Irish.